Hey chicas! Welcome to Coding for Chicks! Today we're going to learn about matrices. That's just a fancy way for saying a list inside of another list. But what do I mean by a list inside of another list? Uh, let's just create our list as we normally do. We create our brackets and we put something in it like one, two, three. So this is a list with three integers. Yes, three integers in the list and everybody's happy. Yep, yep. But what if I would go crazy and just add other brackets outside of the brackets I already have? Now, I actually have a list inside of another list. So this list contains three items, one, two, three. And this list only, create, only contains one item, which is the other list. Now, this is all fine and dandy, but how am I going to print out Let's say this two here. So if I only had a single list, as I usually have, I would do it like this, right? This is item number one and zero, one, two, so number one. Okay, but now this list is within the other list. So I actually have to tell my program, my, my shell, uh, where it is inside of the other list. And this list only contains one item. So this is number zero. And to indicate that, I would just do so. So it's number zero in the outwards list and it's number one in the inwards list. So now I'm calling this item. And of course, nothing will print out unless we write print in front of our L list. So let's try. Two, exactly what we wanted. We don't have to write it like this. We can actually start by writing our inside list so let's create a L list one and just write zero comma one comma two. Okay. And let's just make another one for the fun of it. Uh, three, four, five. Okay. Okay. But um, how are we going to do this now? So we want an outside list now to put this in. And I'm just going to write L list three, still counting the lists. And then I'll create my brackets. And instead of writing this again, the whole thing. I'm just gonna name, write the name of the list. So L list one, comma, L list two. And now I've created a list here that contains these two lists and these numbers. There's always the same method to the madness when you want to be printing out some items in your list. So let's say I wanna print out this three here and I want to print it from this list. Then I have to start by counting where is my first list inside of this three list here. So I'm going zero, one, okay, L list three. And I want this, the second list, which is number one, so one. And where is this item in that list? So I need to go to this list and see it's in the first place, which is number zero, as we know. And now I have my three. And of course I need the print. Three. There might be the occasion where you actually just want to print out the whole thing. And then you just go print L list three. And you get the whole list. And as you see, there are two lists here inside of the big list. Wow. For those of you who love a love math, just like me, a Matrix isn't only a awesome movie with Keanu Reeves, it's also a mathematical thing. And it's used quite a lot, both in math and in computer science. Actually really, really useful. And I have the Wikipedia uh, article here to show you, because this here part could actually be like one of our lists. If we had added the third list, then it would look exactly like this. So this would be our first list, this would be the second list, and this would be our third list. And we would reference each number just as we did before. But in math, we would call this a three by three matrix because each list has the length three and the whole list, the big one, has the length three as well. So it's three times three, a square matrix. We can of course create all the other ones as well. This one would be our first list we created just with one item in the big list. And this would have three items with only one item in the inside list. So if you really want to exercise, try to create these. It would be kind of a fun thing to do. 
I'm going to create some episodes about math later, starting with statistics, and I know you're super excited, so am I. But we must get through some of the Python first. There are so many things I want to teach you, and I want to get a little bit further ahead before we start doing something else. As always, I want to encourage you to practice with the lists. And what you can do is use the nested for loops or while loops if you prefer those and create a big list that contains small lists filled with random numbers. How about that exercise, hmm? If you like my video, please leave me a like. If you get some great ideas about what exercises one can do with the lists or the loops or whatever, please feel free to leave a comment. I'm sure the other users will love it. And if you would like to know when my next video is out, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for listening. This is Coding for Chicks.